We're basically enslaving living creatures and turning them into cyborgs without their consent, if they could give consent. Is this fundamentally different from how we've used animals throughout history? I'd say there's something uniquely unsettling about installing electronic devices directly into their nervous system. It's one thing to ride a horse, it's another to rewire its brain. And we have to think that these experiments aren't gonna end with cockroaches. We're gonna start looking at neural implants into higher and higher, more and more complicated animals until it gets to your brain. Now, ethically speaking, the framework seems purely utilitarian. The researchers aren't asking if we should create cyborg insects, they're only concerned with how to make them work better. The moral calculus is just these modified insects can go places too dangerous for humans, therefore it's justified. But where's that line? If we can justify turning cockroaches into cyborgs for rescue operation, what stops us from applying similar logic to higher animals? We have to look at mission creep. Right now, we're talking about using these heroic cockroaches to bravely go in and rescue humans.